We started it by you know, building a foundation and cutting a bunch of um, trees that were mature enough for oak, um, oak boards for the floors and pine for all the, all the, uh, all the walls were made with pine and, uh, and all off this property. The next spring we started you know, milling that wood and uh, getting it all matched and then we just went up. So it was about a two year process building the house. So the, the, um, the floors in the main part of the house, this, the, what we call the new house, <laughs> are oak from our, um, our woods, um, which we decided to pickle rather than stain. And a lot of the pine in the, on the walls and stuff is also from the property, and a lot of the structural stuff inside that you can't see is from the property. So this room is just wonderful because it's like being outside without having to be outside so you know it's like a you could call it a screened in porch but because we have all the sliders you can really be out here quite well into the winter and in the spring Most of the stone walls around here were built from stones that were gathered on the property. So we didn't dig for any of these stones. We just found them in the woods and gathered them. And the barn is just a simple, functional, basic barn. Um, we store stuff in it now. The barn took 14 days to build. Yes, two weeks it went yeah, up. Two you weeks. had the sheep on the way and it had to go up. <laughs> right. <laughs> This building here has sort of evolved around her work, and my work, and added on when we needed more spaces. I'm particularly fond of that color on the floor in the studio, in my painting studio. Um, I had a Volkswagen that um, I had somebody paint that color for me. Painting studio before what's my current painting studio was what's Jim Conf Jim's conference room. That also has a pink floor, um, and that was my studio before, and it has great light, so the light's really great in that space.
destumping the whole thing, picking rocks out, seeding it, getting it going, and oh, voila, we have a 12 acre hay field. And it's still producing good hay 40 years later. The labyrinth came about because I visited a friend in uh, Arkansas who had an idea for building a stone labyrinth. And I immediately thought of that little clump of trees that I wanted to do something with. And so that was a really big project. It lasted about three months to build, and it's like, I don't know, seven or eight years old now. The idea is that it's separate access, doesn't relate to the, you know, people don't ever wander here from there. It's just completely separate entity. It's just got a really special feel, and I love walking and being in the shade and the quiet and then walking out into the scorching sun in the middle of a hayfield and, you know, doing part and then reintroducing into shade and For me, this place is about the rock walls in the back and the, the little pastures amongst the oak trees and the maples, and, and it's a pretty magical bit when I go back there. Sometimes it's just the nicest walk to go out there. And in the, in the winter, leaves are off the tree, and, and you can just look up at the stars, and it's, it's a pretty magical piece of property, really.